hello guys welcome back to Inkotecha tutorial this is what we want to draw we have a circle radius 5 unit here the distance from here to this place is 15 unit from here to here is 10 unit and the overall distance from the center of this circle to the tip of this arrow is 60 you can see that and the thickness of the drawing from this place to this place is 1.2 unit and you can see that from the center to that to up from center down will be 0 0.6 right so we'll be using that and we have this line inclined at an angle 45 degrees 16 units the line is 16 in length at an angle 45 degrees the same thing happens here 16 at an angle 45 degrees so you can see 2 times 45 it simply means that here is also 45 while here is also 45 that is 2 times 45 it means it was repeated twice in this design 2 times 16 this length is also repeated twice in this design which is 16 16 okay so let's start right away circle make sure center radius as usual 5 unit double click on your scroll bar then select construction line and boot horizontal and vertical line are placed now we will offset by 60 unit for the first uh, to the tip of the arrow then we offset again from this place by 15 units okay from this place by 10 units right now with this I'm going to offset by 0 0.6 unit up and down like that all right so i think um, i want to finish this arrow first you can see that there is an internal movement of five units right and from the center down is 2.5 from the center up is 2.5 as well so i want to finish that part and see from this place is five units in like this okay from this place is 2.5 up 2.5 also from here down is 2.5 down and with this um, I would select trim and trim all that trim this and this and this and this okay now let's complete our arrow by selecting this line draw it to this point and to this point now we can delete this manually and still we'll trim this and this okay so this will be deleted manually then we will not be needing this center line again i will trim this place as well we have the arrow okay now from there the rest should be very simple for us so we delete this and this okay from here we are going to draw the aligned lines from here up by 16 unit hold shift on your keyboard press less than and write your 45 degrees you will have that repeat the line right here the length is 16 unit hold shift uh, and then press less than on your keyboard you can see we are on the fourth quadrant from this place to this place this is the fourth quadrant and to get this 45 degrees we we'll calculate like this you know in anti-clockwise uh, so that is a counterclockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so from this place to this place is 180 270 what will be left here that's 15 degrees meaning from this place down is 45 but if you are calculating like this it will be 315 degrees how because on the fourth quadrant to get this remaining to get the position of this line or this vector we're going to say 360 degrees minus 45 okay 315 okay we have that offset by 1.2 which is the thickness of the material like this and like that okay now we will trim this and this this and this okay and then we're going to delete these construction lines now including this one 
so I think we should trim this place as well before we continue all right okay we have this now we can go back to the drawing we have the distance from this line from this point here is 10 unit to the center of the circle and for this one is 15 units so let's finish this first this circle was drawn on the center radius 3 units okay so simply draw a construction line here both horizontal and vertical and we will offset by 10 units okay for this line in like that and we will offset by 0 0.6 that is to get the center first and also from that center down by 0 0.6 to get the whole length um, we are going to draw a circle radius 3 in it right on that center okay and select trim trim this and this and this this line and this line okay this as well this and this this line and all of this will be gone because we are done with that side now all right so let's go to this down i'm going to put construction line horizontal vertical after that you can see that from this place to the end of this design but this particular side here is 15 units so we we'll bring it back inside by 5 units and we'll offset from here up 2.5 from here down 2.5 okay so offset by 15 from this place up okay then we'll offset by 0 0.6 first to get the center don't forget that also offset again by 0 0.6 to get the end point now we'll offset this by 5 units in and then we'll trim the unnecessary part first okay sorry okay we have this this and this will be trimmed as well because we don't need it now I'm going to offset by 2.5 from this place up from this place down then select trim again and trim this 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 okay I think you can see exactly what we are doing so this line this 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 and this is gone now we'll trim this and that is the end okay we have some construction lines here that we will have to erase all right we're done with the design there you go check the flow right thank you for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and um, make sure you hit the notification button the bell there check your screen tap on it so that when we upload any video you get notified and be the first to watch you know we are learning together here see you in our next video